Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the end of August. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for August 15th to the 31st, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is kind of like a preview, all right? So we're just going to see what comes up for you. Um, this may or may not resonate because, you know, I can't connect with every single person. Um, but before I saw this, I mean, before I started this reading, when I was thinking about y'all, I was, I saw, and I didn't have the cards in my hand or anything, but I saw the Ten of Pentacles, which is, the Ten of Pentacles is about abundance, it's about security, it's about stability, it's, it's prosperity and legacy and home. So I feel like at the end of this month, you there will be a focus around your home, there'll be a focus around your money and your prosperity and your legacy. I also saw the Nine of Wands reversed, which the Nine of Wands reversed is life challenges, okay? Um, you may be um, having some hard feelings. There could be some hard feelings over the challenges that you have been presented. Maybe you're going to be facing a life challenge at the end of this month that may affect your home. It may affect your abundance. It may affect your legacy, okay? Um, and then I also saw the Nine of Swords reversed. The Nine of Swords reversed is um, follow your gut, listen to your gut. I think that you may be growing weary, you may be exhausted, you may need to sleep, you may feel like you really need to sleep. Okay, the Nine of Swords reversed is kind of like extremely exhausted. Um, you may have some great personal fear in there that you're dealing with. Um, you need to be really, really careful. There could be, you, you may be giving deep thought to a relationship. You could be dealing with somebody that doesn't have good intentions. You really need to think about this when you see the Nine of Swords. Now, paired with those other cards, you may be, you know, worried about your money with your family or with your home or with whoever you're dealing with. There could be, be some financial issues or you're worried about some upcoming financial issues or there could be some you know, financial problems within the family or within the home. And I have to tell you, um, I had a reading with uh, Nicola. He's a Pisces, and he's really, really good. You know, he's a master astrologer, and he let me in on this fact that I have a lot of Pisces in my chart, more than I even fathomed. <laughs> so it's quite shocking. So when I'm talking to you, I'm also talking to myself. So whatever I say, I have to consider for myself. So don't think that, you know, I know you guys all know that I have a past with a Pisces. And I want you to, to know that I am very much, I have a quite a bit of Pisces ne Neptunian en energy in there, which I was not even aware of. So anyway, we, we my whole reading was a lot about Pisces. So, and it wasn't about the person I dealt with, but within myself, which was pretty shocking. So anyway, um... I feel like you guys are definitely going to be focused on your money, focused on your home, but there's worry. There's definitely some worry. So what do we got for Pisces? Worried about the financial structure, worried about the money, worried about the bank account, worried about, um, because the Nine of Swords is worry, um, worried about a challenge. You may be faced with a challenge in regards to your money. Okay, could be you, in the Nine of Swords, you could be dealing with a person that isn't paying their fair share. And that's a pro that is absolutely a challenge. So, Pisces, what do we got for the end of August? I think you need to take a break. Giving and receiving. Now, this is about give and take. This is the Six of Pentacles. So, you're looking for reciprocation, right? You're looking for equal give and take. So, i got to get the rest of my stands. Um... I just did my daily, and I took my daily, my other two stands away. So, anyhow, um, give and give and take. So about so at the end of this month, it is going to be about give and take. It's about it's about reciprocation, and I think that is going to be a big focus for the end of the month. Pisces, you could be receiving money that you are owed. Just saying, if somebody owes you money. You may receive it. You may receive it. Somebody could be even giving you some money. You could be getting a bonus or you could be getting a good payout with the Six of Pentacles. Okay? So if you're fearful that you're not going to get what you deserve, I think you're going to get what you deserve. I mean, that's what that card says. So, Pisces. What do we got for Pisces? 
The world, the world. Now, this is a completion. The world is always a completion. Okay? This means that uh, this is a card of expansion as well. But you notice there's kind of like an eclipse. So something could be, be being eclipsed out of your life. Now, this is a completion, like I just said. So somebody could be leaving. Somebody could be leaving. You notice somebody's going somewhere. They're, they're getting... It, somebody is going. Somebody could be traveling. Somebody could be going to a new place. Um, there's multiple opportunities. There's a great big world out there. So anyway, I feel like you're about to... This is a major completion. So something in your life is about to complete. One phase, one chapter, something big. Something big is about to complete for you. Because I said it's a great big world. It's a great big completion here. Something big. But this also leads to a new beginning. It's almost like freedom as well. And whatever this has to do with, I think it has to do with love. So I think that, that you are experiencing some the sort of ending that is going to bring you some sort of love. It may even bring you something abundant, okay? Because remember, I saw that Ten of Pentacles. That is extreme abundance, money. Okay, so you may get a big payout. You may get some money. You may Your revenue may go up. I don't know what's going on, but there's, there's money here. I saw that Ten of Pentacles before I even started. Not in a card either. I didn't see it in a card. I just saw it for you. So... This is this is money in your bank account. Just saying. Just saying. Pisces. Okay, let's see what we got for Pisces for the angel romance. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So, this is the romance of a lifetime. Even if it's I mean, this is a completion, but it's also a new beginning. So, either way, either way, this is the romance of a lifetime. Unfortunately, there is some sort of deception here. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. I don't know who it is. You guys are going to receive something. And you could be receiving it from your love. From your true love. Your true love could be the one that gives this to you. It might not be, though. It won't be in my case. <laughs> Just saying. But anyway... Um, Ten of Pentacles is putting it in the bank, you know, putting it in the bank. My money is staying right in the freaking bank. Page of Cups reverse, no love. Hmm. That, I mean, this is turning down love or somebody that is emotionally unavailable. Ten of Cups reverse. There's a. This is the end of a relationship. I'm telling you that this is an end of a relationship. Any tarot reader could tell you that. This is a completion, but it could lead to a true love of some. You could giving and receiving. Three of cups reversed. End of a relationship. Everybody knows that that is what this is. Okay. This is some sort of relationship is ending. Okay. Somebody is becoming literally emotionally unavailable. They're not focusing on the relationship. And the relationship is about to end. Okay. I'm just being honest with you. Um, five of Cups. <laughs> I can't make this shit up and I don't think there's anybody that can. Five of Cups is a breakup card. Okay. It is. A, it, is it is. It's a loss. It's, it's grieving. Grieving over a loss. So there could be some sort of loss. Okay. Like I said, something is being eclipsed out of your life. Remember, I have a lot of Pisces in my chart. So I'm not saying this to hurt anybody. This could be the romance of your lifetime. That you are losing. I'm, I'm just being honest with you. Maybe maybe you think it's the romance of your lifetime. You're going to receive something out of it. But then again, this can also be as you get what you give. That's the truth. What goes around comes around. King of Swords reversed. Temperance. The time. It's time. It is time, Queen of Cups. This is abuse, King of Spears. This is the this is uh, 
Well, this is the King of Wands, not the King of Swords. So you could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you could also be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or, yeah, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but that could be you. This is some sort of upset. This guy is giving up. He has no energy. He's lost his concentration. He's lost his focus. He's not interested anymore. He's not even emotionally available for any, any way, shape, or form. He's not invested in the relationship anymore. Seven of Spears. Given up. Don't want to fight anymore. He's given up. We have somebody that is giving up. I don't want to fight anymore. The time is now. I just want peace. I want resolution. I want peace and harmony. I want to bring balance back. Right now, the, there is a purpose for this change. Temperance is change. Evolving. Healing. Nine of Cups reversed. <clears throat> the lovers reversed. This is the end of a contract. Pisces, this is the end of a contract. Now, this doesn't have to be with a lover, okay? This can be with a child. This can be with a uh, family member. I mean, and people don't get that. They don't. This is a contract that you signed up for before you came down to earth, okay? So there's an end of a contract here, and this could be with anybody. I feel like somebody is giving up. They are giving up. They are giving up. They're not going to put in any more fight. They, they don't want to fight anymore. I feel like all they want is peace. I just want peace. So if this is finding a peaceful resolution. Uh, by not. Fighting for the relationship anymore. I, f I mean, I'm just being honest with you. The Nine of Cups reversed down here in the external environment. This is deep fulfillment is coming. Deep fulfillment is coming. But and this is what's gonna. This is what's coming. But it's not gonna come until you heal. You got some kind sort of healing that is going to be needed. Over here, this is your hopes and fears. You're hoping for love. You're hoping for love. You're hoping for big love. You're hoping for something heartfelt. You're hoping for something real. But there is some sort of loss here with that Five of Cups right around the corner. Probably soon. Okay? That Five of Cups is soon. It's right around the corner. That is a grievance. That is a loss. That is sadness. That is... Um, a, it's something very difficult is that is going to happen that is going to you know it's going to touch your heart whatever it is but but there's a purpose because the temperance is a purpose um you may have to make some compromises maybe you're going to decide to travel you may decide to travel you may decide to relocate to another part of the world this is the end of a contract here there's it is the lover's reverse is the end of a contract. Um, <laughs> and that is happening because you got something here that is meant to be that will bring you deep fulfillment. But you can't see it right now. You notice the Queen of Cups, she's not looking at the cup. She's looking down. You can't see the opportunity as of yet. But there is an opportunity that you can't see. So it's a time of, this is evolving. The temperance is evolving. It's change. It's a time of change. So you are, and it's a time of transition and transformation. So you're going to about to experience a major change. And I feel like you're not even going to realize that this change, I think that, you know, there's going to be some sort of hurt. This is grieving. And you're not going to realize that there's an opportunity, and this is the truth, because with the Five of Cups, there's another opportunity for love here. There's another opportunity for love here, but I think there's going to be a period of grieving, and I'm just being honest with you, you know, and I or healing that is needed. Um, Queen of Swords, yeah, I want to just be alone. You may want to just, the Queen of Swords is, she's, she's very cold. Okay. I mean, she is. She's cold. She's she's very decisive and she's set in her ways and she needs time to contemplate and work things out by herself. So you I'm rubbing my chest. I'm really I'm rubbing my chest right around my heart in a circle. And I felt a heavy chest when I started this reading. I felt like you guys had a heavy chest. So I feel as though there's there's going to be some sort and this been hurt. 
she, she's cold because she's been hurt. So you may you may be feeling hurt. Um, eight of coins, and you may not want to go to work. You may not want to put in any effort. You may not you may not want to do anything. Um, eight of cups, and I saw that, but I didn't say it. I also saw the eight of cups, but I didn't want to go that far. So I just stopped with what I saw. I didn't even need the cards. I saw a bunch of cards, but I didn't want to just, I wanted to do the cards for you guys. Anyway, the Eight of Cups, this is walking away. It could be the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody's leaving. They're walking away. Okay, they're walking away. It could be anybody. You could have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel as though somebody is leaving. It could be you. You could be the one that's leaving. This can always go vice versa. It can. So we have somebody here that is walking away from something. It's not the relationship that is going to bring them abundance. Or it, you know, that maybe you walk away, you get a divorce, and, and you win. I don't know because I feel like you're gonna you're gonna make out of this. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna. Um, I feel like you're going to get a payout out of this. <laughs> Whatever that means, you're going to receive something out of this. Well, the Emperor, you could be dealing with an Aries. Whoever this, or it doesn't have to be an Aries, this is a boss. Okay, this is a boss. So, somebody could get angry, really upset. Um... And they give up. They lose their concentration. They lose their focus. They lose their control. They lose their balance. It's going to go right here over this temperance card. And they just give up. They just give up and they end this contract. So somebody is, and whoever this person, this is very dominant. This is the boss. This is somebody who's a business owner or the boss or a manager or this person is giving up. This person is walking away. So if this is you, this is you walking away. This is the person that is very dominant. This is the masculine energy. It's not the feminine energy. So if you feminines think this is you, I'm here to tell you that it's not. And if it was, I would certainly tell you. This masculine energy is walking away from a relationship that isn't love. It's, un it's just, it's not. This is the end. It is. There's a, rela there's a contract that is coming to an end. But you may not realize. And you, it, somebody really doesn't realize that after they heal, there is another opportunity for love. There is. Right here. There's the Ace of Cups and there's the Two of Cups, okay? But there's so but there's going to be a healing that is needed. So I'm just being honest with you. So this is a time of... Uh, you know, experiencing, uh, there could be a battle, there could be a fight that causes somebody to walk away. You know, a bout of anger that causes somebody to walk away. It could be the feminine that walks away, but I don't know. I don't think it is. Could be. Could be. But deep fulfillment is coming probably within the next nine months of this breakup. And that's what I got. Good luck.